So, Sonic 3 and Knuckles and Sonic... Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles run off the same engine because they were intended to be one game, but, like, due to time constraints and other issues, they were split into two, where Sonic 3 had the save data capacity and, like, a little under the first half of the game, but it's still pretty good length because the levels are long as two, and these are, uh, egg robots. They're, like, Knuckles and Knuckles. Anyways, but, uh, they were split into, and then, like, a couple months later, they released Sonic and Knuckles. And the cartridge had a cartridge slot on top, so you could plug in, like, Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 and Sonic 1, and if you enter a code for Sonic 1, you could go through the little, uh, Emerald Collecting minigame of Sonic 3. And if you plugged in Sonic 2, you got to go through Sonic 2 as Knuckles, which is pretty cool. And then, if you plugged in Sonic 3, you basically got to go through the Sonic 3 game with Knuckles. Plus Sonic and Knuckles. And then, if you did Tails, you got to go through Sonic 3 levels. And then, after you did that, you got to go through Sonic and Knuckles levels. As Tails, who was not normally in them. You played Sonic, and you collected all this Chaos Emerald. You collected all the Super Emerald when you got to the Sonic and Knuckles part of the game. And, uh... You could unlock Hyper Sonic. Who would like Supersonic, but faster, and he had insta-kill, screen flash, and a basic form of the homing attack? That was more of a dash, and then he could breathe underwater, and he flashed the seven colors of the rainbow. Or Chaos Emerald. But it was pretty cool, if you could do it. And that game was, like, the level was super long in comparison to, like, the first two Sonic games. First three, technically, Sonic games. Anyways, we're gonna jump up here. Jump, jump! And jump on the cloud. So I actually got mad at this level. Was like, I'm out of lives already. And you've probably already seen. So I don't think I've ever actually beaten Sky Sanctuary as of yet. So I just showed off a little bit of it. And I'm kind of sorry about that. So it's not all that long. Because I think it was like a big boss rush or something. So if you want to yell at me, go ahead. But uh, we're going to jump up here. Actually... What I'm doing is I'm showing off the levels in the act that they more closely resemble. So you actually aren't going to see any level. You're going to see the Mushroom Hill Zone footage for this level. Which is pretty neat. And those were some pretty long acts, in my opinion. Just in the Sonic and & Knuckles and Sonic 3 games. They were pretty fun. But the funny thing was uh, Sonic & Knuckles didn't have the save function. Even though it was a longer game. But like when you plugged them in, the, if you had both of them and you plugged them into each other, it didn't really matter because you got save file capabilities. So it wasn't that big a deal. But it was it was pretty neat. Because I think in Sonic 2 and Knuckles, they like added extra bonuses that only Knuckles could get. It was pretty neat. But I don't know if the Xbox releases of the game support that feature. So if you can like find Sonic Mega Collection or like Sonic uh, crap. Or, I don't know, like, Sonic Jam for the Saturn, which was a compilation. That was, I looked, I researched that game a little bit. There was, like, a 3D overworld, and then, like, Sonic, uh, 1 and, 1, 2, 3, and then Sonic and Knuckles, and you had the ability to lock on there, like, a museum. And instead of, like, emulating the games, they were ports, and they added in, like, a hard mode, and I think easy mode, or it was, it was kind of neat. So I didn't really, I don't have a CD. Sega, no, Sega Saturn, not CD. CD was an ass. That's not the point. The point is, it was kind of neat that they did that. And uh, Mega Collection had a lot of extra stuff in it. Like, there was, I think, two issues of the comic, a bunch of concept art, the Sonic CD, little movies, um, the manuals, all this. It was pretty neat. And there we go, we got our fourth uh, S rank in a row. whoop de doo At not dying. Usually, I would be dead like seven times over. You know, if the yet-to-be-released Halo has anything to say about that. But anyways. Um, so yeah. Those are grapes, if you didn't notice. Uh, the character here, he is confirmed in the Sonic 3 manual that uh, grapes are his favorite fruit. For whatever reason, it's just, like, favorite fruit, grapes. What? 
I that's a little awkward. Oh my gosh, he's almost killed me. And I got shot in the face. And there's the death egg. Has nothing to do with the Death Star. What? Whatsoever. Anyway, we're gonna jump up here, grab that red ring. Boing. Spin dash. Oh crap, don't die. And we're just gonna. Well, I missed it. So in Sonic, uh. Generations on a 3DS. After the Sonic 3 and Knuckles stages, you modern so classic Sonic get Spin dash. Or no, the homing attack. Which is, I don't know if it's required, but it's like kinda neat. And they did do that. But, uh, yeah. That's, oh, don't die. Jump down here. Jump on his face. That's actually a playable, the little robot dude, the playable character in Sonic R for the Saturn that I have on Sonic Gym's collection. Which also included Sonic the Fighters and, uh,. Phew. And, uh, what is it, what is it, uh, Sonic, Sonic CD, that's it. Along with, like, half the Game Gear games they had, and, uh, crap, what is it, half the Game Gear games, and, um, like, Vector Man, Vector Man 2. I want to say some other game, I don't think there was. But there's, like, a bunch of, like, artwork in a museum mode. And in Sonic the Fighters, so there was a dumbed out character in that, but the Xbox release of that game added that character back in. Which is pretty cool. If you think about it. They were like, not real, and then they were like, yo, let's make them real. Pretty cool. Oh, what did I get? How did I do that? Okay. Worth interrupting the flow of gameplay. Absolutely not. Anyways, so, uh, back in this era, Dr. Eggman was called Dr. Robotnik. America, you know, no big deal. Here's a little, uh, little gimmicky thing. Run! Here's a little, like, uh, time floaty bit thing. Alright, so let's, uh, try to get on this one. Fly, come on, just fly a little bit for me. And, uh, yeah, those are times. I guess in Sonic and Knuckles, because I watched someone let's play a little bit of that. Just to see what to do while they were doing that. As a bit of research. And apparently in the original game, those had unlimited time. One of our, uh, you know, into the death pit talking about earlier. We run around, there's a little springboard. But back with that little springboard glitch, that was only possible in Sonic 2. So you could only do that reference in, uh, chemical plant that was I thought that was neat when I looked it up. Oh, I thought for a second that was like gone 3D, but uh no. So you it's more of a 2D platformer, 2.5D, than a full 2D platformer. In which you stay on one plane as the camera does move around. But for the most part you can only really move you can only move left and right as modern, I mean classic Sonic. I do like that jump noise he makes. Like, uh, I think that was, maybe they were using sound effect. Ah, crap, I dead. I'm dead. Yeah, we're gonna cut that. Okay, so, uh, if I end up dying a whole crap load on one part of a level, we're gonna cut it, and if it's only, like, one death. Alright, let's let him shoot that. But if it's not, and it's, like, one death in the level, why bother? Anyways, I like the noise those out of make. That is definitely ripped from, like, one of the Sonic games wherever it appears. Because I was playing them all, like a bunch of them the other day, just to collect all this footage. It's kind of annoying, so I got like all of the, uh, all of the, like the first six levels worth of footage. So I'm gonna have to go back and set up the Wii and put in Sonic 06, which I have, and uh, Sonic Unleashed for that. Anyway, so that's Sky Sanctuary. And it's back in color today. Look at the grapes. I talked about them earlier.
not Knuckles, the uh, Thanks, Sonic. echidna. You did a good job back there. He was. Hey, did you gain weight? Yeah. So he mentions how Sonic is kind of fatter in this one, which he was a lot chubbier. And as Sonic. you can see, in comparison to his design of modern Sonic, and there's a random like motion blur or something going on there. So those are the challenge gates. You have to do um one challenge, Sky Chantry, which is where that is. So here is a what is it? What is it? Here's a gate. Uh, I have to get challenge gate keys, and there's a chaos symbol. So I have to do one challenge from every act I've just done, which is pretty cool. So that's a doppelganger race. And here is speed ring, and here's a level where I go through this as Amy. And uh, I don't want to do that one. Let's go back to Green Hill. Anyways, so uh, the challenges are different between Hales and uh, Modern and Classic Sonic. <laughs> I think you called them the wrong thing. Like, uh, there's actually one that I really, really like later in the level as um, moder later in the game as Modern Sonic. It's probably my favorite challenge in the game. And so I'm going to show off one, but I might as an extra come back and do this. So you're going to race against Knuckles. Here. There's another version of this where um this is like a friend level where you have like when your buddies show up have their face and they're like, alright, they're gonna help you out here. But uh or they do something different for the challenge. It's pretty neat. So anyways. What the crap? That's the big motobug, I think, is what it's called. It's not not the big, but that's the ginormous motobug. Uh, I don't remember all these characters, but that's a big B guy. Call him B Drill for now. I don't know. Oh my gosh, Supersonic Racing. So, they remade, like, all of the music for this game. Like, for all the classic levels that are returning as playable. All of them were. Yeah, so there's Knuckles doing his slidey bit, which, because that. Anyways, so Supersonic Racing is from Sonic R on this, uh, what is it, it's like, oh crap, the Sega Saturn. It was like the main theme of the game, and if you played Radiant Emerald as Supersonic, uh, it played that instead of the regular level music for it. And that was pretty cool. I actually think Sonic Gems was the second to last uh, GameCube game I bought. Because I was like, oh, someone has this, and I like this, and I like Sonic R and Sonic the Fighter. Uh, I don't know why I didn't particularly care for Sonic CD as much. But it was like, it also included Sonic CD. It apparently was going to be on Mega Collection, but uh, they couldn't fit it or something. Uh, no. I'm cool with that fail level. But anyways, once you beat all the uh, challenges, the entire like general area lights up for this. Which is pretty cool. So if you get this... A little musical note, you unlock a piece of artwork and you're gonna just grab the key. And let's do a uh let's do a modern chemical plant zone level. Because so you know that's cool. So that is Metal Sonic appearing in this classic incarnation. Uh pretty cool. I'll get back to him later. So let's do a doppelganger race. It's basically just run through the level again uh, and beat the Shadow Sonic that you can see. Or it's run through part of the level, I don't really know. It's different from the time attack because it's basically a set timer. And you can't do what in the time attack it, you can add time that you have or take away time, which is kind of neat. And basically you have to go through the challenge in one life. But judging from this, I don't think it's the entire level. Actually, I don't think I've ever spotted the uh, doppelganger Sonic in the uh, the modern Sonic level. I don't know if it's just because he's not there, or... I imagine he's there, but I just haven't looked for him. I swear I've seen him, though. I think I've seen him in uh, the... Derp. Derp. And the... Uh, crap, what are they called? The modern... Classic, classic Sonic levels. That little uh, helixy shape that that was going to was actually reference to the uh, art style of Chemical Plan in the original game, in which uh, you go into the foreground in the background on that part. So, uh, 
Anyways, so the health system seems not classic and modern Sonic is a little different as I've been taking damage and it's just reminding me that. Is that in the modern Sonic levels, I think if you have a stash of 40 rings maybe? If you have 40 rings and 20 in other games, I don't know why it's 40, you'd probably be closer to the original thing, I guess, even though you dropped them all. But if you have enough rings and you take damage, you don't drop all of them. Which is kind of nice. Sonic. What is Sonic? Secret ring is really weird. We could only have like a certain amount of rings at max. I did not understand at all. Let's run through here. Boost. Slide down and. I'm not dead. Good, I'm alive. I'm gonna jump down here. I like a little spider face. Here's an air bubble, which is actually kind of awkward that it's there. I got my air. I had a thing for not liking the second level of uh, Sonic games when I was a kid. I think it was like Marble Zone, or I don't know what it was called. It was like the second level of Sonic 2 had lava in it, of Sonic 1 had lava in it. I couldn't beat that. The second world was Hydro City Zone of Sonic 3, and I kept dying in that. I kept dying in the giant death egg thing of Sonic and Knuckles. And I could get past the second world of Sonic 3D Blast. I was, I was pretty good at that. I never really had that big of an issue in 3D Sonic games. Actually, I could not beat Sonic Advance 2 the second level for the longest time. I was bad at that. I'm like, how am I getting lost thinking about that? Going with a straight line. Kind of awkward. Crap, I might lose. I refuse to accept that. Anyways. There we go. We did it again. Anyways, we're just going to boost the boost of a way through. Uh, I assume you guys picked up on the fact that you don't take damage if you run into like regular enemies in boost mode. You just kind of automatically destroy them. And uh, we won! Oh, it's a classic Sonic head for the doppelganger too. That's interesting. Let's not try that again. Anyway. So I don't know how I feel about the challenges. It is kind of nice that they do pad out the game a little bit for you. Even though their entire reason for existing is to pad out the game. So it's just a little longer. Which was the entire point of the Werehog. But I kind of like Werehog. Flash Zone. So uh, now that we're down here, we're going to go jump. Actually, we're going to go talk to Metal Sonic while we're here. And you can fight him for a Chaos Emerald. Oh. So, anyways, we're going to have a rival battle. These give out a Chaos Emerald, which you ultimately have to collect all of them by the end of the game. But it's pretty late here about giving them to you, so it's not a big deal. And the rival battles are actually pretty cool. So anyways, this is the one level from Sonic CD that is in the game. And a roundabout way of appearing, which is actually pretty cool. And it is, as we're going to see here... So this is Stardust Speedway, I believe. Um, I actually have footage that I specifically went through the level to collect um, from Sonic Ring Gym Collection. Anyways, the basic idea is not get hit by Metal Sonic. Actually, I don't think this level looks... This doesn't really look like uh, Stardust Speedway at all. This looks more like Chemical Plant, I guess. Or somewhere else. I'm not really sure. This... Yeah, this looks like Chemical Plant more than anything. Um, so whether or not I have the other rival battle level footage for the next one is going to be a little awkward. Because it's a boss fight, but it's a really awkward boss fight. And I'll probably just drop a little for this power. That works. Oh, crap. Try not to hit things by things or you'll die. Anyways, we got our rings. So, it's just, uh, start a speedway in the fight against Metal Sonic is more of a run the poo away and to feed him to the exit type thing, or you die. 
And, uh, yeah. Alright, so you just have to outrun him here. And jump up here. And find in Sonic Generations on 3DS. You just run through Casino Night again. So I haven't included the original audio of the levels that I'm showing off, just because I think that would be a little too much going on, it'd be hard to tell the remake from the originals. So anyways, we got that, and we're good to go. And now that we have our Choice Emerald, our Choice Emerald, uh, just gonna kinda... Oh, I, I just touched... No, it goes through. Anyway, so Metal Sonic, you can read challenge your rivals anytime you want, so it's pretty neat about that. Anyway, so we're just gonna go up here and we're going to do a, uh, not another doppelganger piece. Let's do, this is the technique, isn't it? No, this is the speed. Let's swap to Modern Sonic once again. Uh, Knuckles level... Eh. I like that one, let's do a technique one. Uh, Balloon Bonanza. Basically, they say get to the goal in time, but they give you ample time to really do any of this. So it's not a big deal. It's basically just don't die. And here's our gimmick for the level. So it's about that. That's really all there is to it, but it's pretty neat still. So the game, I want to say pretty for forgiving. So any, I think you have like what, like, over 500 seconds, so I really don't need all that time. And even if you can't hit the balloons, there's a lot of stuff to catch you. Grind rails. Oh, I thought that was thing I could pull my attack on. But it's not. Anyways, we're gonna run through here, have some little fun, little fun fun. Uh, so yeah. Oh crap, I'm dying. Crap, I did it again. What is this, a Britney Spears song? Okay. I'm better. Crap. Ballon! Work with me here. Here we go. No, my rang. Hey, Balon. Okay, he's dead. That's all that matters now. Oh crap! All right, there we go. That's the level. And uh, no, let's not try again. And now I think I'm gonna try. I don't know. I'm gonna swap off whatever order I do this in because I can. It's my let's play. I'll do as I please. And you're not going to tell me otherwise. Artwork 42. Eh. Let's get that little key. And that's going to lead us to uh, something a little special. 